exercise number three of the basic mat work order is the single leg circle. Here's what the ideal version of the exercise looks like. Five times. So I kick the leg across, across like I'm trying to kick above my opposite shoulder, circle around and pull up to the nose. And let's say that's the fifth one. Hold, I reverse, circle out, across, and up to the nose. Five in the other direction, change legs, and five and five on this leg. How we start to learn this exercise depends a little bit on your body type. If your hip extensors are tight, and you're just struggling to get that leg lifted, one thing you might do is grab the leg and really pull it, pull it, pull it to you which is a nice stretch. You might even release, and again, pull, 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 and release. You might even wanna pull it across, uh, into that first movement, across the opposite shoulder, and release it. Little turn out in the leg. You're seeing the inside of your ankle, inside of your heel, inside of your thigh, like you have a tattoo on your inner thigh. We go across and back, and then you can build up to it, around and up. You could always have the option to bend the bottom leg. That might help you. And you go across to the bottom knee, around, out, and up to the nose. Five times, reverse five times. The other option or the other problem might be that you really, it's no problem getting the leg up there, but your pelvis is wobbling around. So you're having trouble stabilizing your torso pelvis, which would look something more like this. We kick across, but the pelvis has lifted. So my advice to you in that case is, imagine you have a smart mat, maybe it even has sensors built in that are hooked up via Bluetooth to your smart app on your smartphone, to your Pilates app, and uh, we don't want to let the mat know where our top leg is. So I'm kicking the leg up, across, but I'm not letting the mat know where my leg is. This would create some space under the mat, but I'm keeping the same connection, the sensors feel the same pressure. As I circle down, I'm not changing the pressure. As I circle out, I'm not changing the pressure under the points of the pelvis. And then as I come up again, I'm not changing the pressure. I'm stabilizing the pelvis in the mat all the way through. So to recap, if you want to record this, we could start one leg, pull it up to you, bottom leg could be bent, top leg if it's straight is reasonable, little turn out, you pull it to your nose, you can maybe even pull it across your opposite shoulder a few times, and then we go across, around, up. I like to imagine I'm painting a circle on the ceiling with my big toe. That says, tends to help me do this exercise better. Five, five the other way, hold at the top, circle across, hold at the top, change legs, maybe hug the leg in, Give it a good hug, change legs, put the other leg up, five one way, five the other way. This is really exciting. We're building up our basic mat order. So we're already at exercise three. We had the hundred, the roll up, and now the single leg circle. We're starting to see how this is, becomes an, an order of exercises, not just individual moves. See you guys again tomorrow. Hashtag for questions or comments. Um, I know my Pilates. See you tomorrow.